Well, it's 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, and it's time for the show that brings you the best deals in vaping, broadcast from the Vapor Joe's Bunker in the heart of New Jersey, and coming at you from the Vaping Underground Live Network on YouTube. I'm your host and deals diva, Tiger Tiger, and with me, as always, is the infamous, proudly politically incorrect, and always devilishly handsome Vapor Joe. So grab a vape, a beverage, and don't touch that dial. You're in for 90 minutes of interactive, informative, and money-saving vape chat. Welcome to Dundeal. Welcome to Dundeal. I keep getting the hamster wheel. I know that's not because of us, but uh, I definitely keep getting the hamster wheel. Oh, I don't know. So. You, you on a hamster wheel. Yeah. Um, so anyway, guys, yes, welcome to Dundeal. Hope you all had a good weekend. I heard... Uh, that uh, some of the um, the festivities this weekend were ruined uh, by the riots or the, the uh, um, quote unquote protests in North Carolina. Yeah. Um, hey, Scuba's in the room. Scuba, can you give me an idea of what it was like? I'm still chuckling because uh, while our intro was playing, Anti uh, has decided he likes our intro music. He it's it's uh, it's fuck music. <laughs> well then, <laughs> it cracked me up. Uh, was, uh, how many vendors? How many vendors pulled out? Oh, Scuba went over Tiger River in one of the Carolinas. He's not sure. That's cool. He says that they had no issues. Let me tell you so. If I didn't from North Carolina to Jersey and like 30% of the vendors pulled out, I'd be fucking pissed off. I'd be real mad. Well, it, it is unfortunate because certainly it has no reflection on the organizers. You know, it's it's one thing when a when an event has some problems because of a lack of planning or a lack of vision. Uh, those are certainly not the issues with uh, this weekend's mania in Charlotte. Uh, vape mania was uh, affected, of course, by uh, events that were totally beyond their control and uh, certainly not foreseeable. So, yes. so now everybody in the room has got to wish Tiger good luck. <laughs> because tomorrow's the big day. Yes. Tiger will officially, we will officially find out if Tiger gets her green card. Well, we're not 100% sure if we find out tomorrow, but tomorrow is the big interview where we the interview. have so to this go one, and get So it, it's do or die. Get you fail the interview, you beat. You got to start all over again. Yeah. So. Oh, no, Scuba, the driving test was over last week. I was celebrating last weekend uh, on Friday. They finally, finally issued me um, my driver's license. So that was pretty exciting. Not without problems, but it was uh, it's finally over. Four visits. Four visits to the DMV and $160 spent on, uh, on um, overnighting original documents from Canada. Just... Well. No, this is not a citizen interview. This is how it works, guys. You get a red card, then you get a green card, then you get citizenship. It's a long, drawn-out process. A very long, drawn-out process. Oh, Daryl, you haven't lost me. He's afraid they've lost an amazing Canadian. Well, I am flattered, but no, no, I'm not lost. Uh, this is a this is a residency thing. In a perfect world, uh, Joe and I would love to both have dual citizenship in both countries. So that's no, that's the you're showing offline. That's the long game. I'm not. It's playing for me. Why is it? Why is my YouTube all screwed up? It just showed know. me you offline. That's really strange. I don't know. And no, anti, we drive on the same side of the road as you do. It's Canada, not Britain. Yeah, they just drive far. No. <laughs> they pay attention. They actually pay attention to the speed limit. Um, well, I try to stay close. I don't like tickets. <clears throat> you know, I wonder what it must be like to drive on the other side, you know, like in like England. It must be an odd feeling. 
I'll probably get used to it pretty quickly, but it must be like a, a Well, regular. it's essentially a mirror image situation because you're still, the driver's side is still the center of the road. You know, they just, they completely drive on the other side. It's just a mirror image. Well, right, right. But everything's changed, though. I mean, you know, since you're on the opposite side of the road and you're on the opposite side of the car, you know, things, everything's just fast backwards. You know, that, than what you're used to. You know? <laughs> so it's, it would be interesting, though. It would be very, very interesting. I guess, you know, if you're a mailman, though, you're, you're used to it. <laughs> in a, in yeah, a way, in a actually, fifty percent. You're there. 50%. Now, MJ Nar asks me, "Do I like America better than Canada so far?" Uh, the answer oh, is no, no. no. Um, <laughs> you know, they both have their charms and merits. That I will say, but uh, no, I wouldn't say I like America better. It's because she she only been in two places. Right? Well, she's mostly spent her time in Jersey, so yeah. she's like in the armpit of America right now. Oh come on, it's not so bad. I think I think you guys get a bad rap, but oh we do. But I have, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I've been in Jersey with you uh, this whole time, but we uh, I have in the past visited Florida, uh, Hawaii. I've seen some of Montana. I've had a brief little foray into Washington, so I'm not a complete stranger, but that's about the limit of my American travels. Yeah, apparently, um, when I get to Canada, I'm going to be going all over the place. Well, Western Canada, anyway. Alberta and BC, you're going to see a fair bit of. <laughs> so. All right, guys, am I breaking up at all? Am I freezing on your end? Um, There's been a little bit of hiccuping, but for the most part, it's all right. Because this is really starting to get annoying. I can't properly do a show if I'm all like, you know. Yeah, you just kind right, of. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off real fast. Re not reboot, but just sign out and come back in, and maybe that'll all clear up. Uh, already, already. I'll I'll field some so more entertain. questions. Entertain. I'll be right back. Uh, entertain. La la la. Oh. Just catching up on chat here. Oh, Anti says I gotta soak up the South. Well, like I say, the the extent of the South, I guess, has been Florida, and I don't think that's usually um, the states you're referring to when you talk about the South. <laughs> Daryl's outlook on Canadians: We were born in snow. We have maple syrup in our veins, and we smell like bacon. I don't. And uh, the real Sean, you get a little homesick. Yeah, I admit it. Um, I've been here longer than I expected to be um, in this this first visit, uh, merely because uh, you know we had planned on uh, going back to Canada for Christmas last year, and uh, we found out that once we started this process. Um, until I was cleared for travel, I was not allowed to leave or I abandoned my application. So uh, really, I only got that clearance in the summer. My son took a little longer. So by that time, it just made sense to stay here until uh, the interview. And of course, we have our first anniversary coming up, so it makes sense to stay a little longer. But uh, I do have business to tend to back home. I do uh, have people we want to see, so we'll look at doing some traveling and visiting. <clears throat> well, while we wait for Joe, I'm just going to launch right into vape mail because I did get something cool um, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. You, you guys know I'm in love with my TFV4s. Uh, this baby right here gets vaped all day long because, of course, this is the Madscope setup, so it's never far from my end. Hey, Randy. Greetings to Calgary. Nice. That's that's my hometown. Long time ago. Um, so loving the TFV4 as I did, uh, I know Big Bam has been uh, trying to convince me for a really long time to try the TFV8. And Joe finally got a great deal on the Baby Beast, which is a miniature version of the TFV8. And as you can see, 
It's so adorable and small. That's it compared to the TFV4. Just a little puppy. And um, still has the swing cap to fill that, you know, I fell in love with on the, uh, this new one's a little on the stiff side. Let me just make sure I got it on the right spot. Arr, there we go. Swings the cap open so that, you know, you don't have to find a place to put it down to fill. You just swing it to the side, fill up and close her up. There we go. And uh, so I really like that about it. One thing they did on the Baby Beast that I think is a little strange, and I don't know if you can notice. Here, I'll make sure there's something light behind it my face. There we go. Ah, try my hand so it focuses. You'll see that the swing cap area is a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, narrower than the top of the atomizer. And I kind of was like, you know, the OCD in me really wants that to be flush, and it's not. But... That's a pretty minor thing and certainly not worthy of complaints. So we'll leave that alone. What I will say is this is a great performer. Now, if this is anything like the full size TFV8, I got to say that's going to be a win. Uh, huge airflow holes. Uh, let's make that focus for you guys. You can get, you, well, you can see right through to my hand. There's two humongous airflow holes in this thing. Um, so I think it breathes even a little easier than the TFV4. And I'm really enjoying the TFV8 head that's in there. Overall, this atomizer is great. Really good performer. I'm vaping uh, my beloved Thai boba that I was out of for so long, but that came in last week. So I've got that in the tank. And let me, let me show you what this is like. I'm only running it at 60 watts on uh, the old SMY that I used to love so much. Oh, Joe's calling back in. Let's, let's get him back in the call. There we go. There's Mr. Joe. Are you back? Are you back? I'm back. All right. Yeah. Awesome. I was just talking to them a little bit about, uh, I, I launched into vape mail without you. So I'm talking about the TFV8 and I was going to show them how it vapes because uh, it, it kind of rocks. You know, I didn't know that because I'm only right behind you. <laughs> she can, oh, I thought she was going to bomb me. Oh, well, I am. For a smart comment like that, yeah, I'm for sure going to do that. But I'm going to wait till you're talking. I needed to show them how great the TFV is. I think is. I'm immune to it now. I think you do it too much. Uh, that doesn't really bother me. No, no, no. You have to wait. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So, um, okay. Now, since you're talking about the baby beast, I'll talk about the baby beast. Um, wait. I'm sorry. Is that it on your on your vape mail? Yeah, it is. That's uh, that's the sum okay. total. So I got a bunch of vape mail this week. Um, Gearbest sent me uh, one of these lost um, this DNA 200 lost uh, triad mods. Um, they're very cool. It costs like 179 bucks. Now, when you look at it, if I, if I was just to hand this to you, you'd go, that's an RX-200. It almost looks exactly like an RX-200, uh, except it uses the DNA-200 trip. Now, I know the RX-200 uses the DNA-200, uh, but there's there are differences, uh, and the differences are uh, I, the top 510 connector is raised. It, it's really nice. Um, it's, and, and the fit and finish on this seems to be a little bit heavier and thicker than the RX-200. Uh, um, the battery door is a little different. Uh, and it has like a leather feel to it. Somebody's saying a lot of echo tiger. Okay. Well, that's the problem of being in the same room. We had these. Sorry, Joe, what? Do you still have the push to mute? Yes, I can, but I can't always. So we'll we'll just roll on. And um, so, uh, except it does have this like leathery back to it. It's actually quite nice. Um, overall, it's a beautiful mod. And uh, thank you, Gearbest, for uh, for uh, making it so uh, that I can have this. Okay. Now, on top of this, I have the Baby Beast. And I'm breaking it in, so I'm only at 50 watts. And it is a bit of a beast, even at even at 50 watts. 
This thing, this thing could go so much higher than 50 watts though. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's bring her up to, let's bring her up to 75 watts. Let's see what it's like. Let's do 77. See, that to me is no fun. I do not like hot, hot, hot vapes. <coughs> never, it was never my thing. I don't, I don't know about you, Tiger. Do you like hot vapes? Uh, well, not not nitro style. Um, I'm I'm well below a hundred watts generally. But yeah, I, I like a nice, warm, thick vapor. You're muted. Yeah, sometimes when it gets a little oh. hotter, it definitely changes the flavor. Sometimes for the worst. Um, okay, so <coughs> I have this and the uh, baby beast, and then I also got the awesome. Um, I don't know if I brought this up. Did I bring him up? The skeleton little guys last week. The skeleton shoes, or did I just bring this up on Mon Envy? I always get this confused because I talk about everything on both shows. <laughs> so I keep forgetting if uh, if I brought this up. But anyway, I did get these from fucking Vapor off uh, of $13. And it was two um, two bottles, 40 mils apiece, two different flavors. So far, I'm working on, um, uh, I believe this is, um, damn it, I forget the name. It's basically uh, a sour gusher. It's a sweet, sweet candy. Very, very sweet, to be, uh, to be, uh, to be exact. And then... Um, Tiger got a Thai boba, but um, uh, they sent Breezy sent mine late because they were out of stock. I got my pie shake, which is a mixture of apple pie. It's like an apple pie milkshake, but it really tastes like a caramel uh, a caramel apple, and it's very good. And it comes with comes with three thirty mil unicorn bottles. I picked that up for eleven ninety nine, uh, which is awesome. That was really cheap. And then I picked up these. These are called Chubby Gorilla Unicorn Bottles. They even can't see it because it's black, but um, there is a little gorilla on it. Somewhere, if you can see it, there's a gorilla. And these are good. Fine tip on these. I don't think you can see the. That, but the tip on these are super fine, really fine. Uh, so they get into those hard to reach, hard to reach areas. I'm telling you, Tiger, I'm immune to it now. It does not affect me. You can only do it so many times until I get used to it. Guys, the bomb no longer works. Lies. It no longer works. Um, Lies. I, I think. I think that's it for vape mail <coughs> now uh, one of these oh yes so the baby beast now um, the baby beast does I believe just give me a second here I'm going to my blog um <laughs> Anti hates those bottles because they would remind him of Harambe. Of what? Of Harambe, the Chicago Zoo gorilla. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, Anti, I saw a little poem online that reminded me of you this week. Uh, Roses are red, violets are blue. Quit making Harambe memes, signed the Chicago Zoo. Oh. <laughs> so, now this is a bit of an older deal, but uh, this is where I got mine from. Okay. Um, and they came the baby beast for seventeen dollars and sixty one ice. Yes, well worth the price. Okay, I'm just getting that picture up for you here. Um, I got these from I believe it was your best now there was a lot of concern about fedex and quote-unquote fda taxes and all this other stuff that was floating around beeping on the ground i'll tell you this much i got a package from fedex 
from Gearbus because they sent me this. There was they asked me for no money. There was no FDA tax, no twenty dollar this tax or that tax. It was fine. So I don't know what the fuck people are talking about with getting these uh, twenty dollar charges. Um, I don't know if the driver's just trying to fucking make money off you or something, but. I have FedEx package today, opened it up, there was nothing in there like that, and I got it from GearVest, and it was from uh, FastX, so, I mean, from GearVest, and it was from FedEx, so, uh, no no charges whatsoever. Well, I think there's some confusion, now, now I'm, I'm, I, I didn't see the invoices myself, so, but I am aware that sometimes, depending how something is shipped, the carrier will do something uh, called brokering it, they will, they will use their brokerage to clear your shipment through customs. Uh, so when we broke down one of the cases, what it was was uh, $20 and change was levied against the person and they had to pay that bill. Um, $20 <coughs> was their fee for doing this for them. It was the brokerage fee, essentially. Uh, only the change, it was like less than a dollar was actual taxes owing on the item they ordered. So. I, I got slapped with that in Canada once. I ordered, and I can't remember the carrier I used. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was DHL. And uh, the service was great, but I did get, uh, you know, uh, slapped with a, with a brokerage charge. So the solution to that is be choosy about your, uh, your shipping method so that they won't do that. Now, Smokey's Post says forms about FDA possibly holding of vape shipments. You know, where did this shit come from? I get fucking vape mail all the time. I don't know who the fuck is holding a package. None of my packages ever get held up. You know, FDA is not holding up packages. The FDA may be holding up somebody's package that, say, has, I don't know, 5,000 bottles of nicotine or something. But if you're ordering a tank from Fast Tech, I guarantee you they're not holding up your fucking package. Well, um, and, and Kieran Dodds uh, adds some detail. He says, yes, Tiger, exactly. It has nothing to do with the FDA. It's customs. Well, one step further, Kieran, uh, it's customs levying that tax. But that brokerage fee, it's usually a nice round number, like $20. Uh, back <coughs> home, I think I got slapped with 30 bucks. Uh, basically, that's going straight to the shipper, uh, more specifically, their brokerage, which is usually in-house. So the shipper. So basically, it's it's a fee they charge you, uh, so that they can clear that through ship uh, through customs for you. <clears throat> yeah, well, um, DH, but usually that happens to people out of the country, out of the United States. There's no such thing as a brokerage charge in the United States, because we have our own customs here. Uh, I've used DHL, I've used FedEx, I've used UPS out of the country. I have never in my life ever gotten a brokerage fee. And, um, you know, maybe that's something to do with Canada or other countries that have that and all that other weird well, shit. Well, these, these uh, clients were actually in the USA, Joe. It may depend on what's on the declaration form and what specifically you ordered. So uh, I don't know. If some if they, if they FedEx sent me a, a fucking a $20 invoice, I would send it back to them in a box of shit and mashed potatoes and tell them to go fuck themselves sideways. I would not pay it. What are they going to do? Get a collection agency after me for twenty dollars? They just like, won't sorry. release your shipment. But... No, no, because these were they're getting they're getting the invoice twenty. Uh, somebody said to get the invoice twenty uh, two weeks later, like oh. after the package has been shipped. Hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I'd send it back to them in, in a very special way. <laughs> Alrighty. They need a hazmat team to take their package. Alrighty. Well, moving right along. Now, hold on. I'm, I'm seeing this post and being on. <sighs> Karen adds, it depends on what is on the label and whether or not it's dutyable, uh, whether it has uh, duty applicable to it or taxable. So that, that does make sense to me. Yeah, this has to do with DHL. Fuck DHL. Who cares? Baby, just go with e-packet. Yeah, true enough. Even in Canada, I've never had a problem with that. 
All right. Well, do we have some deals? Because we're going to try to wrap up a little early tonight in light of all the things we have to accomplish tomorrow, right? Yes, yes. All right. So we got deals, 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 deals. All right. So we did the first deal on the baby beast. Very important. Very important. If you want to get yourself a really good tank, she's a small tank. It is. I mean, you could see next to the Clieto, uh, it, 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 it's definitely smaller. Um, but it does pack a wallet for a little tank, man. And you will enjoy it. It's, it really does work well. I've only been using it a couple hours and it rocks. Okay, so let's do this. One special deal. Let's see if it's still in stock. Okay, yes, it's still in stock. All right, so guys, rebuilders out there. Here we go. 99 cents, okay? This ship's from the United States. You get 100 feet of camp ball, 28 gauge. 99 cents ships free from the United States okay if you rebuild if you don't rebuild if you just want some grot wire to kill somebody with oh my goodness um, <laughs> if you want you know this it, this it's you're stupid not to pick some of this up again the ships from Gearbest, but out of their USA warehouse 99 cents 100 feet if I was a vape shop or if I was an eBay seller I would buy it all <laughs> for 99 cents and resell it easily for five dollars a piece Okay, uh, because that because it'll sell for five dollars a piece on, on eBay or in a vape. Oh, Emily has already jumped on that deal. Got five rolls on the way. Way to go, Emily! There you go. Uh, and uh, you know, I don't even rebuild, and I bought rolls. <laughs> you know, like it's just it's just just in case. You know, I have so much just in case vape stuff. <laughs> the problem is, is I have just in case vape stuff from years past. Which is completely obsolete now. You know, like just mm -hmm. in case Vivi Nova tanks, <laughs> you know, just in case C, uh, CE fours, which are pretty much useless these days. But um, but uh, if you are a rebuilder, now is twenty eight gauge still guys? Twenty eight gauge still popular? Is it still useful to, well, to rebuilders? They are saying in the room uh, one one user wishes it was twenty four or twenty six gauge. Uh, they're asking if it's just the twenty eight. Yeah, this incredible deal is only on the twenty eight. But, uh, you know, it is still relevant as people are making different kinds of fancy wires and twisting them and so on and so forth. So I still use 28 uh, when I was rebuilding um, for certain things. Yeah, MJ Nar says still using 28 gauge all the time. And I, I would agree 26 is more common, but. Uh yeah, so like I said, if you are into it, this deal is only going on for one day. There's like a little timer running. Uh, <coughs> it's um, like I said, ninety-nine cents free shipping, and free shipping from the United States. So, you know, it's always good just to buy to have vape mail. I, you know, I, I like to do that. I like to order like one small thing every day for like five dollars. So you just have a constant inflow. Like, Tiger does this, but she doesn't do it with vape mail. She does it with like cables, <laughs> and she does so like that. You know, so she always has like a small package that comes in. And, Every day. Hey, we, we already talked about some, my small penchant for cables. Yeah, and uh, but but you know it's always good to have. Uh, it, it it also uh, since it's cheap, you know a lot of people like to buy things, you know. So it's just another way to cure your uh, your people shopaholics out there. So uh, if you're in it to win it, get it, because uh, this ain't gonna last long. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. For you rebuilders out there, is Big Bad Boom in the room today, or? Uh, no, I, I'm. I haven't seen him. Because well, I don't want to step on him, you know. If I, I'll, I'll put the links in, no problem. I just want to make sure you don't want to step on him. You know? Yeah, no, it looks like he wasn't able to make it tonight. Okay. All right, so let's talk some juice. No, no, we're not going to talk juice. We're going to talk eSig.com clearance deals. All right. Uh, there's juice involved in this, though. Okay. Um, now, what I did is rather than put these up separately. I just kind of threw in a bunch of links <coughs> to different things that they have going on. Uh, there are um, some juice things in there. And some of them sound really good, like fried ice cream. Like that sounds great. Like I would love to know how they how they they make that uh, that ice cream taste fried. That would be very interesting. All right, so starting off the top, you can get an IPV D3 for 23 bucks. You can get um, a disguiser, 150 watt box mod for 33 bucks. I'm just going to do hardware for a second. Yeah. The I uh, the A Solo 200 watt box mod for 25 bucks. 
the Clouper uh, 80 watt for 20 bucks. And of all the things, I don't know if it if it's still in stock. Is it still in stock? I can't believe it's still in stock. The I bought ten of these. Okay. Okay. Repeat because that so because you kind of you kind of flaked out just when you were saying the name of the device. It's called the iJoy Reaper Plus Sub Ohm Ten. All right. Uh, five bucks. Okay. This is an American um, uh, uh, seller. Ten of these. Okay. Now I'm going to keep a few, and then the rest will go into the box for Mon Envy giveaways or, or what have you. But for five dollars, you would be stupid not to pick a few of these up. Oh, they're still very relevant, um, and uh, the price is just, you know, a Sigalike -like costs five dollars. I don't even think a Sigalike. -like, I don't even think you can get a Sigalike -like for five dollars. Uh, but the Reaper, the original Reaper, was great. This is the Plus, so it's a uh, better airflow of the whole stick. Uh, so jump on that. Now the Clouper 80 watt box mod. It's a really nice box mod. I have one. The A Solo 200 watt box mod is a great box mod. I own that one too. Um, that, again, they were like 120 bucks. Now they're 25 bucks. Um, now uh, there's three juices here. Uh, one is very interesting. It's called Maple Bacon Sin. Okay, it's 8.95 for 60 mils. Uh, all the reviews on it are saying it is incredible. Okay, I'm gonna find it very hard to find a bacon vape that's gonna taste good, but apparently, it is. So I'm, I'm kind of interested in it. 60 mils for 8.95, which is very cheap. Then they have two other juices by two scoops. Uh, it's a strawberry crumble for $11, and then fried ice cream for 60 mils of juice. Um, if you haven't used coupon code Vapor Joe's or VJC, that'll take 5% off your order. Um, it's a one-time use only coupon. You can get around it by kind of checking out as a guest and using a different email address. You know, if you want to go through the hassle for 5%, but, you know, 5% is 5%, right? Uh, so mm -hmm. get over there, check it out. That is some really good prices. There are other things on the site, too, that are cheap, but these were, like, the quick finds I found that I thought they were really, really good. <coughs> well, I put the highlights up on the screen of uh, what the great deals and prices are, so... Yeah, that's that's just that's incredible. Okay, so now the pop I already put up. Um, okay. <coughs> well, you know why that bacon going. juice is getting such rave reviews? Because it's got a little taste of Canada. The maple. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, Canada. <laughs> oh, Canada. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. See, now that's love. He brought me chocolate before the show. So I, I'm going to partake. That's right. Okay, is it still going? Yes. <clears throat> now... This is kind of a this is kind of a giveaway and a deal. Uh, now I've been pimping the shit out of fucking vapor. Uh, they, they're, you know, there are juice. Every, most juice companies are are falling apart. To be honest with you, a lot of them are not having um, are not having uh, much luck. You know, they're throwing out crazy sales. They reinvent themselves. Fucking vapor is one of the few that are just blowing up. <clears throat> no thanks to me, of course. No I'm kidding. Uh, but um, right now they're doing a giveaway. Um, is it both or one? Hold on. Uh, okay, enter to win your choice of a PS4 or an Xbox One. All you have to do uh, is buy that uh, deal that is. Um, let me get to it real fast. It's um, 520 mil bottles for 60 bucks or three 120s for 40 bucks. <laughs> Uh, the coupon code that you enter makes you eligible for an entry. Now, if you buy the thirty, uh, the three one twenties for forty dollars, you get one entry. If you buy the five one twenties for sixty bucks, you get two entries. Have you got a link <clears throat> for us, Joe? Yeah, give me one second. This is the link where you buy the juice for the entry. Okay. And oh, so this isn't here. up on the blog? 
Uh, it is, it is, it is. But that was just linked to the juice. But if you want to know more about the the actual win and how you enter, click there and you can get all the information. Now it's not just that too. Um, they have a uh, they're doing the PS4 and an you get a twenty dollar gift certificate, and a six to ten place winners get a ten dollar gift certificate to uh, plug and vapor and the contest ends October 1st at midnight uh, so if you click the link to the blog you can see what they're giving away and all that stuff and there's a link there to get to the juice and all that stuff um, all right. but... good stuff <clears throat> so the, you know the price is great in, in and of itself um, you know 600 mils for uh, 60 bucks and uh, you know whatever for uh, for Thirty or forty dollars. It's a really, really good deal, and their juice is pretty damn good, from what I'm hearing. <clears throat> okay. So, if we're talking about that juice, you guys are gonna have to write this down because we're going fast today. Yeah, yeah, we're we're motoring along, so we need to go to bed early, and be all ready for tomorrow. Now, let's see if it's still going. You have on this deal, is the clock still running? The clock is still running. You have one hour and 20 minutes left on this deal. That's it. Ooh. Okay. Uh, this is another This is another deal, um, another juice deal. This is 50% off all juice over at um, Lightning Vapes. Now, I'm just going to give you the, um, the link real fast. All right. Uh, basically, uh, no coupon needed. Uh, 30 mils is $4.80, 120 mils is 15 bucks. Now, Lightning Vapes, of course, is known for the rebuilding stuff, batteries. Is known for the rebuilding stuff, batteries, chargers, uh, we have a great juice line. A very popular juice line, I might ask. I might, I might add. And, um, at this price, 120 mils for $15 and 30 mils for 480 That's some of the cheapest juice prices going. Uh, and it's auto marked down uh, when you get over there, so you don't have to put any coupon codes or anything. Uh, I have had, I have to find it. Which one was it? I have had the Peter, uh, the peanut butter bond, uh, which, of course, if anybody knows me, knows I love me some peanut butter. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was good. It was very, very good. And this is all Max VG. Um, so, you PG lovers out there, you beat. But, uh, Oh, Kieran says there's a fried ice cream, too. Does he have a fried ice cream? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now. Is fried the new thing? Because I've been seeing lots of vanilla cake, fried ice cream, uh, fried flurry. Is fried the new, like, you know, the next, you know, we started with candies and then we went to cereals and we went to custards. <laughs> Is frying cakes and things like this the new thing? Because it seems like everywhere I look, there's a new fried selection. Well, I wouldn't be surprised because that is one of the things I noticed coming south of the border was uh, you Americans can fry anything. Anything. Fried Oreos I've heard about. Fried ice cream. Now, I'd heard about that one before, but just, you know, all manner of strange things. You, you've, you've told me other ones, Joe, and I just laugh. Well, you know, they tried to even fried Skittles. Oh, my word. But it didn't work. Uh, there's a place that will be frying anything for you. You bring it for a small fee, and they will um, they will uh, fry it for you. People bring pizza in a, you know, in a batter, and they fry it, and all kinds of good stuff. So fried Twinkies, you know, all that fried Snickers. But, um, I mean, you could fry a sneaker, and it's going to taste good, so. All right. So that is that on on that juice front. Okay. Just want to see if we. <clears throat> now this is a pre-order from eSig.com. Uh, this is uh, the UL Crown D1, okay? And this thing's supposed to be nuts. 
Um, let me give you a link to it. Get to it. There we go. This just popped. And you know, again, this these are these are the types types of situations where you know everybody was complaining about August eighth and nothing nothing news coming out and all this other all this other stuff. That bullshit. There's been new product every day that has come out well past August eighth. And um, well, uh, you know, here's just another example of it. Uh, comes to uh, thirty three dollars and twenty cents with the coupon codes listed on below. Um, now, from what I'm hearing, um, this has a special airflow, uh, and I believe it also comes with, let me just make sure, give me a second here. I'm not that well versed on the UL Crown. It's one of the few that I didn't try at all, but I know users of it, the original were very, very pleased with it, so... Uh, I'm... Yeah, the original crown was huge. Um, I remember selling the shit out of those. Um, <coughs> and um, the D1, everybody's been talking about it since like June. They've been waiting for this thing. Uh, so now you can pre-order it over at eSig.com. Um, you know, I, the problem is he doesn't give you a date. He just says pre-order. Like he doesn't tell you the day it ships on. <clears throat> I'm assuming it's, you know, within uh, two weeks, because, you know, nobody does a pre-order from two months out, you know. Uh, but um, but uh, everybody who's talking about this, it's a decent price for something that is supposed to be epic and something that's brand new. I don't believe you'll see these under 20 bucks, you know, unless, of course, you know, they come out with, like, a, a clone version of it. But uh, certain things I don't buy clones of, and certain things, like, I'll buy a clone Clieto because it's so simple the clone you know i won't buy a clone of this because there's like anti-leaking systems and a special airflow and that could just be easily fucked up in the cloning process so um this one uh I would, i'd probably stick to the authentic we do have a user in chat bang bang says the original always leaked out the air holes hi bang bang and uh they are touting this one as no leaking uh it's too small in the picture for you to read but i can see on my screen that little seal indicates no leaking ever so that is a big claim obviously they realized that maybe some people were having trouble with the first one and uh, they made at least uh, a big effort to to make that go away so hopefully yes they uh they have depends in it Oh my. It's the new adult diaper wick. <laughs> it, it does not leak. <laughs> oh my. Uh, anyway, uh, but <clears throat> this is supposed to uh, like prevent all that. So it's going to be it's going to be cool. Uh, when they go live, I will buy one. I'm, I'm not going to pre-order one of these. When, when they actually are available, I will buy one. See what they're like. Cool. Well, you you all can right. let me know. No, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you check it out. <laughs> All right. Don't want to blow through this too fast. Well, we've got we've got 13 <laughs> minutes left to the top of the hour. Yeah, but a lot of deals, some of the deals are. Um, oh, sold out. We're finished. Always happens. All right, let me let's see if this one's still going. All right, I'm just watching for questions in the chat. Thirty mils. Cart. Now you had mentioned there's lots of new stuff coming out since August eighth. Uh, one of the viewers, Trey Centers, wants to know: new American or just new China? Aussie responds: new American is few and far between, and that's, you know, n maybe I I want to be <coughs> hesitant, but I will kind of venture to say always been the case. <laughs> However, what's going on now and we're seeing more and more of is American innovation is being produced in China to get around that problem. So. Yeah, there hasn't been anything truly made in America. All right, besides, like, <clears throat> the guy who, like, hand turns mods and he does, like, one a week. 
but mass-produced American-made hasn't been around in like two years. Like that shit has been gone ever since cloning started. Mass-produced American-made on a grand scale has been was trying to decimated it because the moment it came out, it was cloned, so it made it almost impossible. Um, what was the name of the hybrid company? Uh, they they made those hybrids. The Chris Chris um, Johnson collected them all. Do you remember talking about him? Um, oh gosh, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I'm just drawing a blank. They had so many special editions. There was uh, a pink one with the rib- with uh, the silhouette for for breast cancer. They, they did they did a bunch of designs. Oh, it's killing me, Joe. What were those? Help help me out in in chat. I know one of you know what we're talking about. Those uh, hybrid mods. No, not House of Hybrids. Uh, Faceless, no. thank you. But what was Faceless the name of the? I, what was the name of the? Well, Faceless made them. We can use that. Yeah. I hybrid was it? I hybrid. Yes. Was it an I-hybrid? Yes, it was that simple. Yeah. Okay, it was the I hybrid by Faceless. Um, once those started getting cloned, um, Faceless just gave it up. There's no point in doing it, and. <laughs> the problem too is um, they were having were they really made in America? You know things that were quote unquote made in Malaysia and the Philippines were really being made in China, and um, you know it was just a big huge mess. You know, the get versus clone huge uh, huge controversy back then, and the cloners won. Uh, people wanted they, people refused to pay one hundred fifty dollars for something they can get for fifteen. It wasn't as good, but it was good enough for fifteen dollars. Uh, and <clears throat> now what's happening, like Tiger said, is a lot of American design makers are just, since they can't make anything new in America, they just give the designs to China, they get paid, and China makes it, and then they can be shipped back into the country. There's always a way around. Um, so, now, don't forget, uh, Evolve is an American company, and the brains can still be used. Uh, in like a mod like this, it's made in China, but the actual brains of the unit is is an American um, is an American thing. So, so yeah, things like that. And uh, but like I said, there was no reason to panic for anybody out there when that that August eighth thing happened. Tons and tons of new shit is coming out. All right. Speaking <coughs> of which, you were looking up a deal when we uh, yes, fielded I that do. question. So. And it is going, and I have it. It's another All juice right. deal. Uh, for those of you looking for, for another juice deal, Central Vapors, again, 50% off all juice. There is the link. Um, it's uh, coupon code SUPER50. I didn't think it was still going on, but apparently it is. Uh, now, the funny thing is, if you go on their website, they do not... Um, advertise this. But you can't find this deal on their site. So it's kind of like a hidden, you know, the, on the DL kind of thing. Um, but uh, basically, uh, 10 mils goes down to like 3 bucks, 30 mils goes down to <clears throat> 8 bucks, and 50 mils goes down to about $12, which is good, especially for the 10 mils. And I'll tell you why. If I'm a guy that doesn't know a juice vendor, and I want to try a lot of their juice. And I just came across the juice, Blood Orange. That sounds great. Um, I would buy a bunch of these 10 mil bottles, you know, for three bucks. There would be like two, it was actually it's like 2.98. Um, you buy like, you know, 10 of them. Pick the flavors you like. And then you go through them and you might find yourself a new juice vendor um, that you like. Absolutely. I love deals like this for that exact <coughs> reason, Joe. It gives you the chance to try a bunch of new stuff without spending a lot of money and uh, identify a few new favorites. Because you know how it is. You try 10 juices. There might be seven that you can re- vape, three that you're just not excited about, and three of those seven, you're like, wow, you know, these are good. I'm really, really glad I tried these. So now you know which three to order next time, and, uh, and you're not out a bunch of, a bunch of cash. Good idea. Now let's just see something here. Does it work on this one too? I didn't even check. View card. Oh, you're you're discovering uh, deals as you go. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. They have a five. They have 500 mils. 
I was wondering uh, if it worked on that. It uh, does. Okay, well. Uh, anyway, and the cool thing too, extra flavor does not cost more. Okay, there's an extra flavor option when, when you, you know, with, with all your nicotine and, and your PGBG level. Uh, they have extra flavor option and it does not cost extra, which is kind of neat because usually vendors always charge an extra quarter or something for that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so that's, so that's included. For those who like a really strong flavor, you're, you're looked after. <clears throat> I always get extra flavor. I always get extra flavor if I have, especially when it's free. You know, unless it's like something like tuna, but you know, then you don't want the extra flavor. Oh, wow. No, <laughs> no. I don't think you want that flavor at all, in fact. Um, but. Nice. Anti got a hell of a deal. He's placed an order. He's getting 600 mils of juice for 66.93, shipping included. Cha-ching. Well done. Wow. No, wait, wait, did he get that from Central? Uh, Central? I think that was the one before. He he was he was uh, he was still working on the last juice order. So, welcome Nitro. Nice to see you. Letting us know that Gear Best sells Nerf darts. So for all you Nerf enthusiasts in the room, head on over to Gear Best. Get your Nerf darts. Um, <clears throat> how much did he pay? Uh, for the juice, six hundred yeah. mils, sixty six ninety three shipped. So that's that's really good. Nice. Yeah, that was fug and vapor. All right, what else you got? I'm looking. All right, you do that. I'm gonna go back to this screen and we'll uh, we'll see what else is going on in the chat. Okay, we got we have five minutes. Nitro's stocking up on nerf darts. That much I know. <clears throat> Nah. Nah. Oh, here's one. Um, this is a new... Th again, this is another new one. Um, who's, who's coming out with this one? Uh, where's this coming from? This is coming from Fast Tech. You know, I haven't been pimping Fast Tech that much yet. So, uh, I should do it more often. Um, Alrighty. Um, here we go. This is for the iJoy... Tornado 150. Tiger, what does that remind you of? Uh, well, I'll tell you just as soon. I'm just grabbing the link. Let's bring it up, and I'll share the picture with everybody, and then we'll talk. Oh, that really, really, really reminds me of the Torek that we've just been recently talking about and trying out. Seems like we got a trend going on here with yep. these. And, and I wanted to call it a chuff cap, but Nitro has so kindly educated me with the bullet cap style tanks, uh, taking a page from the drippers. And uh, that, that is definitely interesting because, of course, you know, where's my Torek? Here it is. There's the Torek for comparison. Let's make it focus. There we go. Oh, hey, no extra charge for the lip gloss on the drip tip, guys. You know, just saying. <laughs> Sometimes I don't notice till I put it in the camera, and it's like, oh, pink stuff. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. super, super cheap. Only $18.75. <laughs> this is the kind. <coughs> this, is the kind this, is, this is like my thing right now. These are the style of, of tanks I like. I like the, I, I've screwed the 510 drip tips anymore. I, I love these, these, um, these types of caps. I love the, I love the price range. range. Um... And and uh, they are claiming you can go to 150 watts on this bad boy. Yeah, wow. Okay, so that's that's, that's quite a bit of man. I, I 150 watts is insanity. But you know, <laughs> hey, whatever uh, whatever makes you you know happy. Uh, but this is the if you guys want to know the uh, iJoy Tornado 150 is the real is the full name. Now I believe you can rebuild this tank. Does it come with the? It's not telling me if it actually comes with the rebuilding uh, head. Because <clears throat> it's saying it's... Um... Well, you can use replaceable heads in it or rebuild. Yes. Uh, and both uh, both need, uh, needed components are included. So that's kind of cool. Cause, and, it, and I... No, actually, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's just an RTA, not a rebuildable. My bad. You know what it is? They give you two. They give you two heads. I thought it was a, a rebuildable as well. It's not. Oh, okay. All right. Then we will. Then we will back off on that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just reading your information there. All right. So it is a replaceable head tank atomizer. 
uh, much in the style of the Torek that I've been trying out recently. And, uh, and I'm right. impressed. I'm impressed with the Torek. I will say uh, on this one, now bear in mind, this is a different tank. This is not the iJoy. I did have trouble with the first head in this one. It just drained juice, drained juice, drained juice. When I changed out the head, it has been rock solid ever since, a real producer. So I like this style with the stubby little bullet uh, drip tip. And uh, that one looks like might be a winner too. <laughs> Big airflow. On you know, I'm just looking at some of the. T actually, they actually, I'm just looking at some of the things uh, else that are in this list. And uh, out of this, I think the 150 looks great, and the Limitless XL looks kind of cool um, with the pimp gold trim. But uh, you know, black and pimp gold just always looks great together. <laughs> anyway, uh, <coughs> but uh, for 1875. You can't go wrong. It's a it's a great tank. Well, it looks like a great tank. It looks exa almost exactly like like this one. <laughs> you know, it looks almost exactly like it. Um, and uh, I don't think you'll be uh, disappointed. And it ships free, and it's cheap, and it threw away the five ten drip tip, which I am fully happy about. I don't know. Are you getting sick of five ten drip tips, Tiger? I'm not because I I like the expression of it. Like you know, I've got the beautiful one that matches my Tiger setup that was made specially for me by Lead Pipe Fifty Eight. Well, yeah, you know, I I love the the neat caps that they've been making for the Cletos. Now that's not a five ten, but I I kind of do like having the ability to express myself a little with my drip tip. But uh, you know, sometimes. Sometimes you can forgo that for functionality. Right. And <clears throat> the more of these come out, the more they actually look like RTDAs, where they're re they almost look like rebuildable, um, rebuildable tanks. Uh, but uh, they're kind of like a, they kind of, kind of fool you. But uh, this is what I've been waiting for. Chup, well, Chup style or whatever you call them, the, the, the style that um, uh, Metro was talking about. The 9510. Uh, and. Uh, they, they work great. Well, at least the Torque work great. Nitro's sharing links. He's found the coolest uh, leg holster bag that should carry just about all of the vape stuff he needs. Looks like uh, there's a lot of cargo space there, so that should about do it. And Anti, no, 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 I'm not rolling my eyes or looking at Joe. Uh, the way my screens are set up uh, right here, dead ahead, I've got my laptop monitor, but I have another monitor above, and that's where all the pictures I'm pulling to show you guys come from. So when I'm looking up, I'm, I'm building screens. That's all it is. Not rolling my eyes. Not rolling. Yes, She's lead rolling lead pipes in the room. Lead pipe fifty eight. Yes, this is this is his fine handiwork, and it just matches, of course, the tiger setup so perfectly. So that lives there. And thank you. <clears throat> all right, <clears throat> all right. Well, tiger, it is eleven o'clock. Uh, we are it leaving half hour early today because tomorrow it's is the big really interview big for day. Tiger's immigration, and hopefully she will. Get her green card. Oh, we hope so. Uh, yeah, just it would be wonderful how to many, finally see the, the end of this. Well, we started Since we March? started the process uh, in November. Uh, we are, we initially spoke oh, to in our November. lawyer in November, so we're we're getting <clears throat> closer to the year mark at this point. Yeah. It'd yeah. Be good good to true. see the end of the process. I will say that. Guys, uh, I'll be in a newspaper for blowing up a federal building. <laughs> Okay, we don't want to joke about that even, Joe. That, that's 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 not that's not funny. And thank you for all the good luck wishes in the room. I appreciate every single one of them. And uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm a bag of nerves because I just always am. I was the kind of kid who, you know, every time there was an exam at school, I was up all night. Just you know, no matter how well I knew the material, so I'm I'm kind of I'm nervous because it's a very very important day, but we'll get through it. Green card. Green card. Mm hmm Absolutely. All right, guys. So, uh, listen, we'll see you uh, this Saturday on Mount Envy. And yeah. um, until then, we'll see you later. Have a great night. Thanks for joining us. See you soon.